Hello. Welcome to Storytime. I'm Sam, and this is Kaya, Jemima, and Humpty, who are all dressed for the beach in their rashes and swimmers. Let's go check out the surf later. I love surfing. But first, we're going to read you a story. The story today is called Matt Formston, Surfing in the Dark. I'm holding a blue book with Matt on the cover, riding a big wave with his yellow surfboard. But it's not dark here though, is it? Hmm. Did you know this story can be read in different ways? By looking at the words and pictures, or by using braille. These bumpy dots I can feel when I rub my finger over them. Sometimes people who are blind use braille to read by feeling the words, or some people read with their ears by listening to the words. How do you like to read? I'll be looking at the words and pictures today. The story goes like this. Matt Formston is a world champion surfer. When Matt listens, the ocean tells him things. When he touches the ocean, he feels its secrets. But when he looks at the ocean, he cannot see it. Matt is almost completely blind. Ah, that's why the book is called Surfing in the Dark. Wow! Matt is catching an awesome wave on his surfboard. A big blue wave sparkling in the sun. Matt hid his blindness so well when he was little that nobody knew he was finding it harder and harder to see. He could run, he could chase, he could kick a ball, climb a tree and ride a bike better than all the other kids. Hello there, kookaburra. There's a kookaburra poking his head out from the leafy trees. Do you like climbing or riding your bike too? But by the time he was five years old, all he could see was a big black dot in the middle of his eyes with some blurry shapes around the outside of it. Matt's mum and dad decided that his life would be as normal as they could possibly make it. That big black dot that Matt's seeing is really getting in the way, isn't it? He would continue to play sport. He would go to school with all the other kids. The word can't would never be used. When Matt went to school, he sat in the front row of the class. Teachers thought this might help him see the chalkboard, but Matt couldn't see the chalkboard. The words in Matt's books were made bigger, but they were no easier to read. Matt came up with a plan. He asked his teachers questions. Lots of questions, all the time. Some people are scared to ask questions. Not Matt. Asking questions has helped Matt all his life. Matt is not frightened of making mistakes either. He quickly discovered that in each mistake, there was something to learn. When he was growing up, Matt's neighborhood included professional surfers, rock stars, and famous footballers. Matt wanted to be like them. He never wanted to be just the blind kid. He wanted to be a professional surfer. In the surf, Matt's dad or his big brother would plonk him on a boogie board and throw him in front of a wave. There's little Matt playing in the sand, imagining himself on a surfboard riding big waves. Do you like imagining what you'll do when you're bigger? Matt would shoot towards the shore where his dad would be waiting to take him back to the waves for another ride. Over and over again. Matt began to hear what the water had to tell him. If you lie too far forward, your board will sink and throw you off. If you lie too far back, your board will slip off the wave and you will stop. Second to riding his boogie board, Matt loved playing rugby. He would often go with his dad to his big brother's games. Matt would sit with the adults who would describe the game to him. Matt listened carefully and asked many questions. Matt knew that knowledge would give him an advantage. He also knew he had to be strong and fit. Every day before school, Matt would ride his bike and run for kilometers. Nobody in the rugby team was as fit as Matt Formston. When Matt decided to do something, 
He planned to be the very best. He didn't just want to be a player. He wanted to be good enough to be the team captain. Oh, wow. Go, Matt. He's running so fast across the field with his bright orange football. One day in the surf, a girl refused to speak to Matt because she was on a surfboard and he was only on a boogie board. She called it an escalade. That was the day Matt started riding surfboards. He was 11 years old. The ocean had already told him many things, but there was more to learn standing on a surfboard. Day after day, Matt would hit the surf and the surf would hit him. Again, he was making mistakes. Again, he was learning. Every time he surfed, he got better at it. Nothing would make him stop. There he is trying again and again in the surf. Oops, he's fallen in, but he gets back up. Good one. And there's a little starfish on his surfboard along for the ride. Then he got sick. Oh dear. Matt was 16 years old when he got glandular fever. It made him feel tired and he had no energy. It took him nearly a year to recover. By the time he was ready to play rugby again, it was too late. All the skills he had developed had faded. While he was sick, his teammates had become bigger and stronger, faster and smarter. Matt no longer fitted in. He became angry with the world. He left home to live alone. But even though he could no longer do the things he loved, Matt continued to ask questions and learn from his mistakes. And he continued training to be super fit. He never stopped. Eventually, he was offered a job with a company that would help him be his very best. When he decided to do a 1,200 kilometer bike ride for charity, his life changed again. Matt was asked to become a cycling Paralympian. Have you ever seen the Paralympics? Humpty, Jemima, Kaya, have you guys? He wanted to be a world champion and a world record holder in three years. His coach laughed and said that it couldn't be done. Matt did it in four. Four years, impressive. Good one, Matt. With his cycling pilot on the front of their tandem, he went on to win titles and break records all over the world. But soon, all he could hear was the ocean calling. It was time to return to his dream, to become the pro surfer he had envied all those years ago. Go, Matt, we're all cheering you on here, aren't we, everybody? Matt wanted to tackle the waves that even surfers who can see would think twice about riding. His coach knew better than to get in his way. Riding a jet ski, the coach would tow Matt into the path of a wave Tell him when to go and leave him to it. Wave after wave after wave. Now Matt is a world champion, again. And he's planning to win gold for Australia at the 2028 Paralympic Games. Matt says, people ask me, if I could go back to being five years old and choose to be sighted, would I do it? My eyesight has driven me to take all the opportunities that have come my way. I would keep my disability because it made me who I am. There's Matt now with his family, and he's still at the beach too. And that's the end of the story. What do you want to do when you're bigger? Maybe you'd like to learn how to paddleboard like Kaya, or become a pro surfer like Humpty and I. It's time for us to go now. It's bye from Kaya, Jemima and Humpty. And it's a bye from me too. Bye. Hey guys, that was a pretty amazing story. What do you think? I think we should go to the beach and go for a surf.